Hey guys, Brian here, and I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom, Kadani Village. This is where I am staying tonight. And I thought I would just give you a little look around rather than do what I would normally do as a top five video. I figured I would just kind of show you around the things I like about it rather than list them. One of them is definitely this lobby. This is a very understated African lobby, uh, quite a bit different than the Animal Kingdom Lodge, which has that huge soaring lobby, which is awesome. But this one with the thatched roof and whatever those are that are very cool looking. Then if I turn, you know, this way, there's animals out there. There is, uh, there was just a giraffe. Where'd he go? I didn't know they were that fast. Oh, there he is. There goes a giraffe walking by right there. I mean, this is by far the coolest thing about this place, is just being able to see these animals in so much more natural looking habitat than most zoos. Uh, lots of some zebra walking around out there. There's actually another giraffe coming from over that way. Very, very cool. So let's walk out there and look a little closer. So I came down out to the Overlook. Again, unlike the Animal Kingdom Lodge Overlook, which is very, has that big rock, which is awesome. This one is really more about just coming out and seeing the animals. And right there, where all those people are sitting at night, they have a fire there and you can sit by the fire and it is January when I'm here. So the nights are actually cool enough that you may want a fire. Sit out there with the fire, look at the animals, it seems real nice, doesn't it? This is Sanaa. This is the table service restaurant here in Animal Kingdom Village. I am just sitting here at the bar because just me and I didn't feel like waiting for a table. Back there is the tables. One of the cooler things about this is those windows back there, you can't really see because it's too bright. They look right out onto the savannah, so you will occasionally get animals just walking by the window. If you walk through the halls even, there are these little alcoves that have what appears to be authentic African art. I mean, it certainly looks to be and seems to be. They don't really have much in the way of information on the placards, but it definitely looks cool. Along with these famous quotes said by luminaries such as Africa. This is what's considered the library here at Kidani Village. And I'm not 100% sure why. There's no books, but I'm sure there's some reason why. This is an awesome little room and there's nobody in it right now. Now it's midday, most people are at the theme park, so I guess that makes sense. But they do little activities in here. They do a lot of activities at both Animal Kingdom Lodge and over here at Kidani. But for now, it's just like some seating areas, some kind of uncomfortable looking stools there. Over here, we've got a little fireplace. It's a very nice little couch. And these chairs right by the window, again, overlooking the savannah. You wanna walk out here? There are some rocking chairs. You can just sit. You can't really see over the wood fence from the rocking chairs, but you know, it's still nice. And back out onto this savannah. Both Animal Kingdom Lodge and Kidani Village are awesome places to just explore. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies like this that not many people go to. Like, look, for instance, right now, down there is the outlook we were at before. Look at all the people down there. There's got to be, I don't know, 20 or so people. But compare that to where I am up here, where there's uh, zero people. So, one of the things I don't like about Kadani, and there's very, very few of those. In fact, this might actually be the only one. The parking is underneath the building. This is actually the first floor here which that's fine, it doesn't really matter. But then to get to the pool, you have to come down that elevator I just came down into the parking garage, walk along this parking lot here, and then cross the parking lot up there because the pool is this over here. It takes a little bit away from the magic when you have to cross a parking lot to get to the pool. I don't know, it just doesn't say Disney magic when you when you walk from this parking lot over to what is a gorgeous pool area. Walking into the pool area, I found this very funny. They have the gate like they have at all the Disney pools, but there's just a gap here. They haven't finished the fence yet. So you just kind of walk around it. Didn't even have to use my magic band to get in there. 
my magic band by the way which has my little batman watch on it now it's pretty cool but this is the pool luckily there's not that many people in it i always feel super weird about filming around pools hot tub over there won't show you that there are quite a few people in that but this is a really really lovely pool surrounded by trees and back here is maji the pool bar don't worry i'll get up there in just a minute but as you walk around this way this is the little kids area over here appears to be closed right now but they have normal kids area a little climbing rope area right there a lot of area that normally would shoot water if it was you know open you know, that guy that tried to spit water at me apparently but even up here they have here is the water slide there's kind of viewing areas. There's a lot of levels to this pool, which is a little bit unusual to most pools. I mean, all moderates and deluxes have the water slide. This one is fairly twisty. Comes down right over here. Not allowed to uh, jump or dive from the bridge, by the way. Probably a good thing they put that sign there because you know people have tried it. This is just more of the kids area that's closed right now, but some uh, water guns to shoot each other with and they even have a little water slide you can't really see it but it comes down kind of right around these rocks right here but this is what i mean with the levels this is the entrance to the water slide here but on this side they have this nice little pond another hot tub right here that i'm guessing nobody down there knows about because this one sure is empty back here is the kidani village fitness center Another one of the absolutely impenetrable gates. Don't think they've, uh, don't think they've completed all the security briefings here yet. And in here, not gonna walk in, but in here is the fitness center. You can see, I see some ellipticals, treadmills. Half the uh, exercise is just getting over here because you have to walk through the parking lot and everything to get here, so. But it is a very, very nice pool area. And if there was a better way to get over here, it would be even better. But I don't know, maybe that keeps some of the people away. It certainly kept people away from that section. Just kidding, that's the section that's closed. But even the regular pool, there's like five kids in. Now, I mean, it is only 75 degrees or so, which for Florida is not that warm, but for most of the rest of the country in January, that's pretty darn nice. So I would have expected a couple of people to be hanging out in there. Jeez, I wish I brought my suit because this empty hot tub right here is starting to look very nice. So this is the Maji pool bar. You can get some snacks, drinks, of course. I went more the drink route to no one's surprise that is watching this by now. But here is a little secret why the pool bar over here at Kidani is one of the better pool bars in Disney World. And that is if you walk out behind the bar, there's the bar out here is a few benches and a view of the savannah and look there's some uh, big weird looking bird thing walking around right there not sure what that is could probably find out by flipping around these signs a little bit whatever he's just looking for some food if you look out that way a little bit more back there you can see some uh, what look like gazelle or antelope or something there is a zebra walking back there actually that building that you maybe can see back there is the night enclosure where they keep them. Oh, there's an Okapi walking around back there. Not sure how well that's coming across on camera. He's way back there. Some red river hogs I see. If I move this way, maybe you can see some of the red river hogs back there. I like red river hogs, they're very cool. But this is what makes the Maji pool bar a little bit better than most of the pool bars. There are, well, there's really not any that have this kind of view. The one at Animal Kingdom Lodge, is close but it's not quite so close to the bar and it's never this empty there is no one else back here even though there are people in the pool and there are people at the bar you know that's why i think i'm gonna end my tour of animal kingdom lodge kadani village i hope you enjoyed it i really really like this resort the transportation in the parks takes a little bit longer than some of the others it's a little bit down in the corner but it's worth it it's such a nice place thank you for watching be excellent to each other